good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is chilly here today in East Tennessee. We're at the we're in the 40s today and it's just it's just not real warm. So bundling up. We've been out here getting wood for the wood stove. That's what we burn for heat in the house. Um, it keeps us nice and warm and gives us a lot of work to do. But we love it. All right, I'm gonna go check the greenhouse and the beds out here, see if anything's coming up yet. Let's take a peek. Nothing yet, but I imagine it's still just a bit early for anything to be popping up just yet. We had the stove running last night. Um, it got in the 20s last night. The stove kept it at least 30 degrees warmer in here and we had it on level three last night. So very pleased with that. It really did a good job. The plants are happy and haven't seen anything coming up in the troughs yet. And we've got tomatoes that need to be picked. Look at these cherry tomatoes. Aren't they beautiful? Ooh. <laughs> Right down with the succulents. So pretty. My husband's already had a few of them and he said they taste really good. And the, this is a plant that I propagated off of the one that was out in my bed out here over the summer. I'm gonna head down to the chicken coop on this egg hunt and see where they've laid eggs today. All right, let's go see what they're up to. I imagine those are only a couple eggs. That's kind of what I've been getting here lately. It's just about two eggs, two to three. I found me a bucket. Well, the rest of my week is gonna be pretty busy. Um, Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday. So tomorrow I'll probably be cooking. I may be helping my mother, mother-in-law cook. And usually this weekend, we'll decorate the Christmas tree at my mother and father-in-law's house. And we've still got to go get a Christmas tree. We like to get a live tree. So we're on the search for one of those. I think we've got a place we're going to go. And we'll be putting that up too. So we've got lots of fun stuff coming up. Um, and I'll share with you guys. I'll put it in the video. And my chickens are super quiet for some reason. What are y'all up to? It's awfully odd. Why are y'all so quiet? Where is everybody? Oh, Polly, what are you doing in there? Hmm. It looks like Miss Queenie went to bed. I've got to walk very careful through here because they hide eggs. Oh, I see them. Y'all make this difficult for me. Two eggs. Who's not laying? I know Miss Queenie. She has an excuse, but somebody else. Well, this time of year is common for chickens to not lay as much. Like I told y'all earlier, we have molting going on. Daylight hours are shorter. They do take a break. But I've never had chickens like completely quit laying over the whole winter. That's never happened to me before. They always give me some eggs. Let's go check the coop because Miss Queenie might be sitting on her babies and it's just too cute to pass up. She's resorted now to the roost bar. She's trying to teach him something, I think. She's on the top bar now. Look at that. You all went to bed early. Look at you all. Look at that. Look at those babies. What are you doing? She goes to bed early too. Is that not just the cutest thing ever? I have never seen a chicken do that. Mostly they've just stayed on the ground. But in the past I've always had silkies and cochins and that's just so adorable. Now these babies were born in September. Probably the second week, middle of September. So they're a couple months old now. I mean, they, they're fully feathered. They don't need the heat, but 
she loves them and they love her, so I'm gonna let her do her thing with them. Oh my goodness. Just adorable. It's too cute. And look at my garlic. This is my grocery store garlic. And this is my hard neck that I got that originated from a Smokies. It's doing really good. It was in my basement for a couple years, but it's all coming up. Growing fast too, but it won't be ready until next summer. Well, I'm back from my garden supply store. <laughs> Luckily, I live close by. I guess that's a good thing. Um, so I had to go back to get some more um, frost cloth. I got a whole bunch of it. I think I got four yards for like four bucks, which was really cool. And they have like all their seeds on sale, their Baker's Creek for like 50% off. So I got some more stuff, some flowers and more tomatoes. Go figure. So I'm gonna put this frost cloth out. I got some trays for my seed starting, which is really good because I've got some domes that'll fit these, which will keep the moisture in and help them to germinate. Well, I think this is gonna work great. So I'm gonna get me a few more clamps to hold this down. So if we get wind, but basically I've just used the two by four fencing, made a dome, which is super simple. We just cut it. And then I have the frost cloth laid over it. And I'm just going to clamp it down in a few spots. Um, they said that I could leave it up during the day. It would be fine. But I could also, I also read on the internet where I could remove it too. To let the sun kind of warm up the soil during the day. So, I've got lettuce in here. I don't think that's a big, huge deal. Um, they said that it would also rain through there. And that would be fine too. So, I think this is gonna work. We've had um, some knots that had a pretty good frost in the in the last week, and then probably the rest of this week too, we have a chance of, of frost as well. So I think this will help when my seedlings are coming up and that off, you know, that frost off and snow off over the ne next couple months. So hopefully it'll do good. I'll keep you guys updated on it. 